It's Thursday, January the 8th, 2009, and this is Wooftle Bites, your Acacia Daily Foss and Linux news show with your host, me, Marcel Gagne. Hey, I'm having a bit of a problem. I'm just not sure what press hat to wear today, so um, let me start with the... Let me see. Let, let's let's try this one. Let's try this one. Okay. The very first thing I want to talk about today is actually a fascinating story. <clears throat> You might recall a couple of days ago that I told you about, um, you know, a New Year's resolution that you might take to live DRM free for an entire year. Well, guess what? It just got easier. Yes, Apple just announced that they're going to make their entire iTunes library available DRM free. Yes, that's DRM free, which means you can play it on any device that you so desire all by Q1 2009, which is like, you know, right around the corner, if you will. Actually, on their website, it says, hey, it's available now. So check it out. Uh, of course, they've raised the price of the song a little teensy tiny bit to, uh, you know, make the uh, record companies, I'm sure, happy. Um, you want to make me happy, Apple? You want to make me happy and a bunch of other Linux users out there? For goodness sakes, make it possible for us to buy your dang music using a Linux desktop, okay? I don't run Windows, so I'm not likely to buy anything from you. I might consider going over and buying something from the Amazon people, except that... Uh, you know, you can't buy the Amazon songs if you're not living in the U.S. Oh, please. Well, I guess we'll just have to look elsewhere. Meanwhile, over at Linux Planet, uh, Sean Michael Kerner is reporting that Fedora is looking for a name for Fedora 11. Yes, Fedora 11 is going to be coming out real soon, and uh, they want a new name for it. Uh, there are a whole bunch of names that are already available. Voting, by the way, is only open for another day and a half. So get out there and vote. Go check. Remember, the links are at the bottom of the screen here, you know, just below the video. That's where the links are. Maybe your name can be the one that Fedora will adopt for Fedora 11. Personally, I'm looking for Icky Icky Fatang Van Zoopzalzen. <laughs> That's my suggestion. I think you should all vote for that one. This next story is one that I wanted to include because uh, I, I love the idea that it's a non-review of an operating system. In this particular case, a GNUSense. That's the Free Software Foundation approved Linux distribution that doesn't include any of those binary blobs in the kernel that uh, you might taint it in some way, shape, or form. Um, so remember, if you want a Linux distribution that is completely, totally, 100% free of any of that uh, proprietary stuff, if you're willing to live with the fact that some of your new hardware might not work with it, um, and uh, you want to be pure and true to the ideals of totally open software, then put your money where your free and open source software mouth is and go check out GNUSense or go check out the non-review and um, see what you think for yourself before you go ahead and do that. Over at Ars Technica, Ryan Paul reports that Abbey Word Project is finally going to get some funding to finally help out one of the places where it's having some troubles, as far as I'm concerned. Hey, listen, Abbey Word is a great word processor. It's small, it's compact, it, it doesn't have a whole pile of garbage that I might not want to use on a day-to-day -day basis. It's almost the ideal word processor, but you know what? I don't use it. And you know why I don't use it? Because I can't open my ODF documents in it and, and be able to read them cleanly and write them back out cleanly. So NLNet is providing funding so that they can actually update their ODF filters and make them compliant with the uh, versions that you can find in OpenOffice. You know, I might actually start using Abbey Word once this happens. Yay! Meanwhile, over at Danny Webb, Ken Hess has an article called The Linux Iceberg Problem, or something to that effect. Remember, the links are at the bottom of the video here. Basically, it talks about the idea that there are 2 million Linux users out there. No, 3 million. No, actually, it's 4.5 million. Basically, it's kind of hard to tell how many Linux users are out there because it's kind of hard to track how many Linux users are out there, given that anybody can install it free and you can hand out disks to all your friends and so forth. And he points out uh, ways that, you know, this might actually be helped out. Now, one of the things he points to is the Linux counter, which says that there are 135,000 or something like that registered Linux users. Hey, I'm even on the Linux counter. But you know what? I think the Linux counter should die. The Linux counter needs to go away. The Linux counter serves no useful purpose. In fact, the only thing the Linux counter counter does these days as far as I'm concerned and hey I love the ID I signed up for it the only thing that it does is make it look like there aren't a whole heck of a lot of Linux users out there so I say Linux counter it was a nice idea but please shut down the website go away thank you 
Now here's a sad tale. OLPC News reports, that's the One Linux Per Child News website, reports that the OLPC people are gutting their staff. They're getting rid of 50% of their staff. Sugar is being spun off. Does that mean hello, Microsoft? They're cutting out an entire continent, actually a couple of continents. Uh, they're cutting out Africa. They're cutting out Latin America. They're refocusing their mission, as the website says, refocusing our mission on uh, the Middle East. Um, it sounds really bad for OLPC. Is this the end of OLPC as we know it? Go check out the link. Read the story. Make up your own mind. Over at the Intranet Journal, Matt Hartley has his list of five Linux distributions that you can use to convert your Windows friends, family, enemies, workers, co-workers, whatever. Anyway, he lists those five and uh, he tells you why he thinks they're good choices for converting Windows users and uh, gives you an opportunity to make up your mind for yourself. It's a good little wrap-up, and it's a good uh, for and against on all these little distributions. Actually, none of them are little distributions, but you should go check it out if uh, the next time that you're thinking of handing out a live CD to one of your friends to convert them away from their <coughs> bad Windows habit. Remember, Windows, habit. Windows is a habit like smoking is a habit. Help out your friends. And finally, there be evil in the world, Yes. Yes, those of us who fight for open rights and, and open access and so forth must be forever on guards for all the evil pirates on the seas. And you know, the pirates these days, some of them have law degrees. Some of them work for the police. Some of them you think are the good guys. In particular, did you know that the British police have now been granted the rights to hack into anybody's PC? Anybody! I'm sure it's all for, you know, uh, to fight. Uh, let me see, terrorism, crime, uh, oh, I don't know, the drug trade. I'm sure there must be some reason. But your personal privacy, it doesn't exist as far as the British police is concerned. And, of course, if you remember a little while ago in the U.S., the border guards gave themselves the authority, or somebody gave the border guards the authority, to seize anybody's notebook and copy off the data so they can check it out later and decide whether they had anything illegal there. So, you know, there is evil in the world, and the evil isn't always who you think it is. Go out there, fight evil. You know, we have rights too. Not everybody is a villain. Just because, you know, just because, just, just because. It's just terrible. It's awful. Did you ever watch, uh, you know, uh, Way, to the, uh, Way to the World Across the Sea where pirates all have law degrees? Um, that's from a movie from uh, a long time ago. I always love that line. Way to the World Across the Sea where pirates all have law degrees. What was that movie? It was the pirate movie. Yeah. Yeah, God, that was a long time ago. Anyway, that's it. I'm done for today, I'm pretty sure. And I still can't figure out what press hat I'm going to wear today. <sighs> oh, well, I don't know. What else? What else? Uh, I don't know. Bye.